Hey guys, it's Zach, and welcome back to the shop. Uh, I actually learned something new today, and I thought I would share it with you. Uh, it's about the Axiom CNC and how to adjust the height of this pog. Okay, so you actually have had this machine probably for a little bit now, or if you just open it, you see these little pogs. Um, and what they're used for is the, or a touch off, or if you want to call it that, it will touch off the bit so the machine knows how far to drop the, the bit down to cut into your material. Now over time, these things could actually um, start to, uh, I don't know, dam get damaged over time because you're using it over and over and over again. And mine's not too bad right now, but one of the things you can do is actually sand them down, um, you know, flat and reuse them. So if you do do that, you actually have to adjust it in the machine to know how thick this this uh, puck still is. And with a caliper, you can do that. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, so yeah, like in my my case, this is you know barely used, but I kind of want to walk you through the process if you were to sand this down. Now you're going to need a set of calipers or something that is highly accurate that you can um, set to millimeters. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to get the size of this guy, which is exactly 25 millimeters. All right, so now you're going to, you're going to be able to set this in the controller. Go into the menu, go into machine setup, and you scroll down to CAD thickness. CAD thickness, which is this guy here, and hit return. You'll see right now mine's actually set for 25.4 millimeters. I'm going to click uh, run, pause, and delete, and I'm going to change the number to 25 because it was 25 millimeters. And then you hit OK to, uh, to accept it. And that's all there is to it. It's really that simple, and now you the machine knows that 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 this guy here is now only 25 millimeters well there you have it hopefully that helps some of you guys um, and then remember if you ever have to change this guy or sand it down or anything like that make sure you check the thickness and set it in the machine or you're not going to get the results that you might expect uh, other than that guys thanks for watching and if a tip like this help you leave a comment down below and I will try to add more tips about this machine thanks for watching and I will see you next time.